especially yesterday, is of great concern to us. I won't say Sheikh Hasina fled. She left Bangladesh, but with due cognizance or due support of the armed forces, the army had made sure that she comes to India, and I believe she is on the way to UK, London, where she is looking for political asylum. But as far as India is concerned, it's a very worrying situation. Because of all the neighboring countries, we had the best of relation with Bangladesh. Last 15 years, Sheikh Hasina has been in power. Every election she has won, and she maintained a very good relation with our country. If you recollect, before that, a lot of militant groups, basically of Northeast insurgent group, had bases in Bangladesh. All these militant camps were removed. Many of the militants were handed over to India. Now, as of now, I think there is no militant camps in Bangladesh. Now, what will happen, it's slightly early to say, because we do not know what type of government will be in Bangladesh now. The government, as I can read, uh, make out, we have elements of Zamat Islami, BNP, Bangladesh Central Party. Now, BNP has been anti India. In the BNP's time, Bangladesh BNP's time, many terrorist camps were established in Bang Bangladesh. And from Bangladesh, if you recollect, not many terrorists from Bangladesh, with the help of ISA, had gone to Pakistan for training also. So, BNP has not been very really close with us. Similarly, Zamat Islami. Zamat Islami is a religious political party. It has been supporting fundamental religious activities in Bangladesh and we also on the border in the Indo Bangladesh border, particularly in Assam, West Bengal, and Tripura. So now we have to wait how much of this politician or these people who are in the ministry will have the power. So that will be able to say only after two, three days. But I feel, as I have seen after the inc yesterday's incident, no, not much of violence has been triggered against Hindus. Some incidents of some temple have been destroyed, but not much has emerged as of now. So we'll have to wait and watch. Now, in, if there are actions against Hindus, so they are likely to cross the border, or they may attempt to cross, cross the border to come to India for shelter. That is one issue we have to be very concerned. Similarly, in due course, if the inimical anti-India elements are housed in Bangladesh, they will cause problem to us. Thirdly, we have to see how much is Chinese influence. Actually, Sheikh Hasina, you see, she had maintained good relation with India. Most of the projects were given to us. Although China is the second arms exporter, lots of economic development has taken place, but off late because of certain reason, China, the relation was slightly on a decline, especially on some issues. If, if you see the last visit of Sheikh Hasina to Beijing, she was not very welcome there. So we have to see that. Secondly, we have to see inter-service intelligence. Many say that inter-service intelligence of Pakistan Intelligence Agency has some role in the present problem in Bangladesh. We are not very sure, so we have to wait and see. But overall, India has a boundary of 4,096 kilometers. It is a huge boundary covering so many states. So we have to be very careful. The Bangladesh Sheikh Hasina has helped us, the, not only against militants, the trafficking of a human being, drug records, all have come down. And now we just have to wait, see how the new government takes it. But as I can make out, the present army chief and has said that he will be, the government will be balanced. It will be the same for the Hindus and uh, Muslims. So let's uh, wait and see. Kannadigara Nechina News 18 Kannada Iga WhatsApp Nallu Labdiya. Karnadka Desha Videsha Gala. 360 degrees Sudhya Vivragana, Nima Kai Belugala Le Padilike. A QR code and a scan mark. Namma channel follow Madi, notification on Madi.